I'm Kylie. I am a lesbian and a witch and a vegan. This is a pig. Bear with me. I'm also disabled. My hands don't work. I have really severe arthritis and I'm fat. Okay, not, not quite that bad. And there is a whole lot that I could be doing to work for equality and equal rights, which I guess is kind of the same as equality, and marriage rights, and I, I mean, I'm pretty minoritized, and I'm kind of a minority in a minority, sort of, and here's what I do to fight those fights. Nothing. Nothing. Because those are not my fights. Because I am also highly sensitive. Highly, highly sensitive. I am very sensitive to many, many things. And I used to try to fight those fights and do a lot of work for equality and human rights and the like. And I found that it made me like this all the time. I was very, very grumpy and sad and stressed out and I felt like crap all the time. And I learned that I had to have a very balanced diet of news and information and those kind of fights. And when I learned this and I let go and I said, there are people who are in this world to do that work and fight those fights and I will support them as best I can, I felt like this. Yeah, I felt fantastico. And it enabled me to become a photographer. <laughs> Even an upside down one. And be a better mom. Okay, but really it's like this because my kid is 15 and very tall. And take really good care of myself. This is a chair. <laughs> and love my cat and be a better partner to my partner who was way back on the very first car. Is this? That's her. <laughs> and really enjoy nature and be out in the world and shine my light as brightly as I possibly can. And when I was trying to do all of those fights and work really hard to gain equality, it was making me sick and sad and really stressed out and burned out and a really crazy person that you would not have liked very much. I did not even like me very much. So as a measure of drastic self-care, I had to step back and take care of me. And taking care of me allows me to shine my freaky, crazy, wild, minoritized light as much as I possibly can, which is my way of fighting those fights because I'm being myself and I'm very out about all of the wacky things that I am and it gives people a space to come to to see that I am really not so different than anybody else. So if you are finding yourself bogged down and feeling heavy and feeling like you are fighting a fight that you can never win and you're not making any progress and you're just hating everything and you're being that crazy grumpy person, take a deep breath and step back and see if there is a way that you can find to take care of yourself and to really love and nourish yourself because loving and nourishing yourself is radical and it is amazing and powerful and if you can be a good example of radical self-love then you are being an example of love and love is how the world will change Mwah. take care